question for you guys. My question is, can your ego handle it? Can your ego handle being on the bottom of the totem pole? Because I was just leaving the gym and I had like a kick-ass workout. I was putting all my stuff away and I was just like thinking how comfortable I am in the gym. I've got hundreds of exercises at my disposal that I could just whip out at any time. I know, you know, good technique, good form. And I was, it just brought me back in an instant to my early days of lifting when I would, felt like the lowest on the totem pole. I was out of shape. I didn't have cool gym clothes. I had no idea what I was doing. And my ego didn't like that. Not one bit. And it, it took courage to keep going in there because there were times that back then I was working out at night. It was like mostly like male bodybuilder dudes and me who had no idea what I was doing. And my ego wanted to run. My ego wanted to bail. It had all these intelligent excuses of why I didn't need to be in there and why I should give up. And I just kept immersing myself in an environment that would lift me up. And so my question for you is, can your ego handle it? Can you continue to put yourself in environments that level you up, but are real uncomfortable because you're the smallest fish in the pond. I did the same thing in business and I'm telling you, it doesn't feel good when you're going to masterminds and business events and conferences and it just feels like everybody else has got it figured out but you and you're just like this little fish, you know, it's, it doesn't feel good. Our egos don't like that, but I know I have learned and I learned it in the gym. I learned this first. That is why training and all of this stuff is so important to me because for me, it was the gateway to personal awakening. And I learned it in here that if you will just continue to immerse yourself in an environment that is going to lift you up and not get those, I always say our ego comes up with these really intelligent reasons why we shouldn't be in this uncomfortable position that makes us feel like a small fish, you know. But if you'll continue to do it, I have learned that an environment that lifts you up is one of the fastest tickets to, to growth in any area. So question for you to consider is like, what area of your life are you feeling the need to expand in? And what kind of environments are you willing to put yourself in? Will you invest money? Will you invest time, energy, emotions, bandwidth? Will you take that moment when you're like with that little sucker punch to the gut and heart when you're like, dude, I, I got some work to do in this area. Are you willing to take that on? Because if not, that's fine, but you're not going to, you're not going to get different results in that area if you're not willing to. So just accept like, this is where I choose to stay for however long, <laughs> maybe till the day I die. Cause for all we know, you die tomorrow for all, you know, for all, you know, you get in a car accident this afternoon and die, you know? So like, it's just choosing the reality you want to live in. But when you're up leveling in any area, you've got to immerse yourself in an environment that up levels you and it's not going to feel good to your ego at first. And you can try this in little ways. You can try this through like in the gym, do something you've never done before. It's an awesome opportunity for growth, but can your ego handle it? Or do you just want to be seen as perfect. Are you too afraid to try something new? Too afraid to be the suckiest one in the room? I love being the suckiest one in the room now. It has really changed my life. <laughs> really changed my life. I'm like dying to be the suckiest one in the room at this point because I've already seen the results that come from that. So just felt compelled to share that with you. Don't be afraid to be the suckiest one in the room. That's the best room you can be in. Don't skip things because you feel that little ego, like, oh, I just, I feel uncomfortable. What if people think I'm fat or ugly? Or what if when I do glute exercises, I, my butt squishes and I have cellulite? Who cares? Work your glutes. Who cares if you don't know what you're doing? You care more than anybody else cares. And when you start having your own back and supporting yourself through that and say, good for me for trying new things, that's when magic starts to happen. So when you're in those environments and you're feeling that little ego threatened of like, I'm not being seen as the man or the woman right now, have your own back and, and tell yourself, good for you, dude. Good for you. <laughs> All right. All right. Much love guys. Yes. I can help you with your diet. Just DM me. Um, Elisa, thank you. I, I'm your inspiration. That's why you show up every day at the gym. Thank you so much. And I hope it's starting to transition into showing up for you every day. I know it already is, but just, you know, just saying that's, that is like the greatest gift you can give yourself 
It's the ultimate antidepressant. It's the ultimate nootropic cognitive enhancer. Exercise. Ultimate longevity drug. Ultimate body composition changer. Ultimate diabetes avoider. And you get to feel like a badass too. And sometimes your badassery needs to be switched over to doing some rehab on certain parts of your body. That's also badass because a lot of people aren't willing to do that. <laughs> All right. Much love, guys. Yeah, nobody cares. In the gym. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares if your kid's hair is perfect. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. When people live in this thing of like, everyone's judging me all the time. And I get it because there's a lot of programming that way. But honestly, m most of us are just so tied up in our own reality. I don't give a shit. I don't remember what anyone in that gym was doing or wearing <laughs> or anything. <laughs> I was in my own little world. Um, one year into my fitness journey and it does change everything in your life. Hell yeah. Good for you. Yes, it does. It's an opportunity to take a look at your own mindsets, how you show up, how you talk to yourself, see your own fears, what kind of little mind tricks do you play on yourself to hold yourself back? Nafe, what's up, dude? Good to see you. So, can your ego handle it? Can your ego handle growth? Can your ego handle feeling like the shitty small little fish that doesn't know what they're doing? Because if it can, you on your way. You're doing my arm exercises and I'm feeling the pain, but I'm keeping my elbows locked. I hope you mean muscular discomfort and not actual like owie injury pain. If so, um, get into a massage therapist or Cairo and see what's going on. But hopefully you just mean the burn. Shine Fit Life, Michelle, thank you. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all your support, all your comments, all your contributions. Just go to the gym and do y'all thing. Mm -hmm. Get your music on. Yeah, mus uh, your muscles. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go share a little video now. Got to edit it up from the gym. Okay. <laughs>